how did you guys get to write this? Did you write this uh, song together? For example, Ian, that, that guitar riff is really cool. As a guitar player, and I've always been a guitar player since I was a, a little kid, um, that was one of the things that really got, got me also to the, to the vibe of the song. But in general, uh, uh, everything was just like perfectly in its place uh, with the song, all you know, the lyrics, the, the, uh, how, uh, how, how James is singing, uh, well, the whole band, of course, in general, everything is, is done really cool. But that, that guitar lick in, in, in specifically is really cool. I really, I've always loved it. It's, like, it has, it's, a, it, it's an interesting story, especially uh, having spoken in Spanish a little bit today, because because I think that, that there's a bit of a connection there. Because my my uh, my parents loved classical music, and my father played the classical guitar, and my mother sang, and uh, and because of a lot of classical guitar music is 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 Spanish. There, um, if I can get, hang on, get my Spanish guitar and I'm going to show you. Cool. You can play it, man. <laughs> so, a lot, a lot of them, um, a lot of um, classical music is Spanish. It, it, it does that sort of thing. So it's the. Uh, um, It does that thing, doesn't it? You know, it's uh, and um, and so I'd had this around me my my whole life, and then I discovered punk rock and that energy and blues. Now, and blues does a different thing. Blues does the sort of like that, like that, and that's that. And so I feel like. That this uh, this meeting of the two sort of influences I had is the blues. There's the blues, and then the. Yeah. And so that riff just was that was that combination between those two things, and then. And it's so interesting, the Spanish thing, just that Spanish music always meant so much to me and I, I felt the connection with Spain and I met my wife in Spain when we were on tour and it's just that Spanish thing, it was always so part of it. And, um, and some of those other riffs like that. Uh, uh, like from um, Long Summer Days and stuff, you know. I think, you know, some of those lovely dark things are, are so Spanish and so Hispanic and, um, yeah. So that's that's the story of the riff, I'd say. I, somebody, I was at, um, I was at a gig, uh, funny enough, it was a Spirit Destiny gig, and uh, just a couple of lads came up and I was in my car, had the roof down and me and Joe were there. And, I, nobody knew I was going to this gig. I was just a punter, as, as they say, going to the gig. And uh, these bigger, older lads came past and went, EMF, man, Rifferama, Rifferama, major minor, Rifferama, you know, and that's it. You know, I mean, you can tell the influence Long Hot Summer Days. Um, they're all that kind of around the, the, the sea and then into the minor and then unbelievable. And it's, um, there's a real thread that goes through the lot. I mean, the ones that we banged out like children, which was a down, 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 down. That was a complete Jesus Jones ripoff. That was it, you know, move mountains. And then they started putting the other stuff together. But the, the more intricate stuff, I, I should say, is is exactly like Ian said. It, it's, it's like you said, well, it's like you're, it's like those guys who went about to use major minor, major minor. Yeah. Like that, that interplay between the major and the minor, which is so interesting. Estás escuchando el EP Podcast.